Three. All right, two, twelve, five, five, five one, three, nineteen, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 
minus 6 over 3, reduce those, and still would have gotten 1 for an answer. So two different ways to do it, same result. Number 19 was silly. Number 13, we have the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is part of the quadratic formula, which we'll get to later, but we got that. So they tell us we have b squared, so we have negative 1 squared minus 4. a, they told us is 1. c, they told us is negative 12. Quick question, what is negative 1 squared? Same. Positive 1. Okay? And then I have negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 12. Is it negative or positive? Positive. Positive, because I have a negative times a positive times a negative, so it's going to be a positive 48. That's going to be root 49, which is? 7. Seven. Woo. All right. 14. A squared plus B squared. They tell us that A is 6 squared and B squared is negative 8 squared. Why am I putting the negative 8 in parentheses? I'm, yeah, I'm squaring the negative as well. Okay. If you plug negative 8 and square it on your calculator, it gives you negative 64 because the calculator doesn't read negative 8 like you and I do. It reads it as 8 is being squared, and then you do the opposite to it. So uh, 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. If I add those together, I get root 100, which is? Seventeen root three x plus y to the third. So three times three x is three, right? And we're going to add negative two to the third power. So let's do this one. Three squared is nine. So we want square root of nine, which gives me three. Okay. Plus um, negative two times negative two times negative two. Negative 8. I like it. So we get this. So 3 subtracting 8 yields us an answer of negative 5. All right? Yeah? Um, for number uh, 14. 14. Um, would you pick? Did I do 14 already? Yeah, you just did it. But would you pick the, the like square root symbol over 10? Like no, because the square root of 10 is now undoing it. it this, the inverse operation is taking place, saying what number times itself is 100, that would be 10. So that's already taken place. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's see. Do we need, was there any other questions that had come to mind? Yeah. 16? Uh, 3x minus 2y plus z. And they tell us x is negative 2. They tell us y is 4. And they tell us z is 5. Order of operations would say do the multiplication first. So this is going to give me negative 6. This is going to give me 8. And then plus 5. Uh, negative 6 minus 8 is negative 14. Negative 14 added to 5 is Negative nine, nine. Sweet. Anything else? A okay? Happy? Sad? In between? Dude, school, man. Alright. Let's see. Let's go to the top of this. Eight. Number eight, so you have negative out front, so we gotta keep that in mind. So I get negative four over two times two, so that's negative four over four, which gives me negative one. Is that okay for 
I don't know who I was talking to. Is that good? All right. So uh, I don't have a note sheet for you today. I apologize. Gosh, I gotta get on the ball on this. So let's. Uh, yes. Oh, thank you so much. Pat, make sure your name's on your homework. Pass it on forward, please. <laughs> Well, I hit pause, but. Like you like skip cards. So if I, if I yell at a kid or something cool like that. Can you keep it in there? Heck yeah. So are you going to cut all this out right now so you're not like. No, it's on. Yeah, I'm recording. It's over there. Hey, Tell me some stories you got. It's on YouTube. All right. It's like the reality TV show and the But you guys can't vote me out of the classroom. Yep, because I'll be in it. Whoa. Let's yeah. overthrow it. Yeah. Do I? Can I walk out? Okay. No, don't walk out. <laughs> don't walk out. Let's do some notes. I'm sorry. I'm off task. It happens to me sometimes. Uh, we're still working with order of operation. I know. You guys want me to be fun and games and we can eat like ice cream sandwiches nonstop. But it is. So it's your job to bring it in for the next 16 Thursdays in a row. Perfect. All right. That's not ice cream. That's, again, it's not ice cream. <laughs> Um, we have seen this over and over and over. It's a silly acronym for please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which you're like, oh, that's what you said. But, you know, it just talks about, hey, you have parentheses, and then you have exponents. And when the time, when would the time you would do an exponent before you would do parentheses? Any idea? Yeah. No? Yeah? Yeah. So, this... If I were to go backwards, so usually you're going to do what's in the exponents or parentheses first, but if you had like this, if you had something like that, that would say do 3 to the 4th first, which is 81, okay? It's easy because it's 9 times 9, which is 81, and then 5 squared which is 25. You do that first, then you add it together. So sometimes the order of operations switches if something is taking place inside of something else, okay? And times, you know... Part of the exponent is, this actually is the same thing as radicals. And a radical, for the most part, is the square root property for right now. So when would you do um, inside before parentheses? Again, when you have the exponent or the radical inside of the parentheses as part of an operation. So sometimes the order of operations gets gooped up. Sometimes you do the addition before... You do a lot of other things because the addition or the subtraction are inside the parentheses as well. So you have to look at your innermost parentheses and work your way out on the back side. Does that make sense how I presented that? Yeah. Okay. I got my CPR certification. All right. Um, I'm going to use a four letter word right now. What? You said you yeah, quiz. Yeah, you spell, you spell tomorrow wrong. Two M's. Two M's? No. No. I might not teach English, but I know that tomorrow has one M. It's got a Z in it, too, though. So. What is the quiz on? Math. Well, yeah. Order of operations. What have we been doing? Yes. Yes. You good? Uh, you you don't really need a calculator on these. I won't. I won't have any huge numbers. You know, if I ever give you something to say it's not calculator, you know, it's not calculator. You should be able to multiply three and four together without relying on a calculator. But I'm just saying. But we'll take a look at it tomorrow. And if we, you know, decide we truly do need a calculator because you can't go one times sixteen, um, then we'll figure it out. It's too hard. I can't do it. All right, moving on. Evaluate all expressions. Shh. So following the instructions, we have this and this that are given to us as information. It's kind of a story. Now we have to figure out 
what the solution would be. So this first one, I'm going to have 2 times 2 minus 5. Everyone feel OK with? Yes. Do one example that work? Yes, yes, yes. Add that into the examples that work. Because my page is a smidge off of yours, but it should be pretty close. And what are we doing for the So under the examples that work for the back side of this page, you can also do notes on. Cool? Um, hey, what does this answer come out to? I negative two. Two. Negative one, so I get four here. That's four minus five, so I get negative one. I like it. Next problem, I'm plugging two in for x, plugging five in for y. What should I do first? Yeah. Multiply. Yeah, we're going to multiply. I don't have any exponents here. Do you agree? And then 2 subtract 15 is how much? Negative 13. So I get negative 13 over 2. Can I leave my answer like that? Yeah, does that reduce? Uh -uh. Do you, should I make it a mixed number? I wouldn't keep it as an improper fraction. Completely appropriate. But make sure it's a reduced fraction. Am I okay so far? Now someone shouted out exponents, so you probably were looking at C up here saying I should be moving faster, which I probably should be. So I have y squared, yay, minus 2 to the third, 5 squared, 25, minus 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. What do I get here? 17. Okay. Leaving it. Everybody all right? May I move on? Yes. Sweet. I don't know, may you? Didn't you always hate that when you're in elementary school or even high school? Can I go to the bathroom? I don't know, can you? Yes. It's like, I yeah, I can. No, so you say yes, still... and then you just leave. Yeah, it's like, do you, you want an yes example? Yeah. Yeah. I told you the bathroom policy in here, right? We just no. You got to go, go use it. You don't have to do it. I got to go. We don't need to know. <laughs> If you have to use the restroom at home, that's too far. You really should use the one across the hall. Oh, okay. Unless it's closed, then find another one that's in this building. What if your school is closed? What if all the other in this building is closed? No, what if you live? Then use the bring an ice cream sandwich. All right. Bring a gallon of ice cream. A gallon of ice cream. Literally. Literally. Not figuratively. All right. Shh. Uh, now this is, we switched up a little bit. We know that x is equal to negative 3, y is equal to 4, still with me? So again, this can be done on the... No, these all work. No, I think these all work. One of these should have the distributor property somewhere. Can I roll the dice? Can I roll the dumb one? Can I roll the good one? Didn't roll. Can I have to touch it? Maybe it just landed on the... I'm pretty sure it's not active. Huh. You like my red nose? <laughs> my Rudolph? feel good about these? Yeah. All right. I'm going to scoot on down here a little bit further. And, oh, no, get out of here. That's my email. Come on. Dude, let's take a look. That would be awesome. It's really not that cool. You just probably emailed all of us there. Why would I do that? We're horrible students. Can you make up a gamble that will work? Okay, but it's not. Nah, let's not. What? All right. So. What is a like term? Like 2x plus 4x. So like 2x and 4x. Those are like terms. Yeah. I like that. 8x. 8x and 8y and what? And 9y. I like it. Question. Is 
8z and 2y. Are those like terms? No. 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 Why not? No. So no. No. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Are these now like terms? No. Why not? No. So one of them squared. One of them's not. So those wouldn't be like terms. So like terms have to be the same letter. If it's the same letter, it has to have the same exponent with it. What about this? Yes. No. 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 Yes. No. No. Yeah, no. Square root. Square what, root. So if we eliminate the x's, is the square root of 3 the same thing as the square root of 5? No. no. It, can I add square root of 3 and square root of 5 together to get square root of 8? No. So square root, so these are not like terms either. Okay? So that's just, that's further down. So combining like terms, so if they're next to each other, you add them up. If you have a negative value in there, then you have to realize the negative value might mean something, and you could have a negative answer. Okay? So some examples down below. Can I move off this? Yeah. So let's use a little distributive property. So I have 4, and then I have 2x plus 6, and then let's put this one here as well. 4x minus 5. All right, very first problem. What should I do? What's the math? Okay. So I'm going to distribute to here. What about here to here? 4 times 6. Yes. So I'm going to get 8x and plus 24. Love it. Done. Okay. What kind of error might take place on this next problem? We add the signs. The signs. Good. So I can't add these as they sit, but I could go here to here, and that gives me negative 12x. And then I'm going to go here to here. What's the sign going to be? Positive. Positive. Okay? So be aware of your signs when you're distributing in all times. Can I combine negative 12x and 15 together by adding? No. No, they're not like terms. One has a letter, one doesn't. But I showed here I can distribute, and the multiplication takes place easily without like terms, but I can't combine things together as I would have like terms as far as addition. Are we good? Yeah. Okay, can I move off this screen? Uh -huh. I don't know, can you? Good. I get 5, and then I get negative 2x minus 3 plus 4. Um, where would an error take place on this one, y'all think? Signs. Signs, okay. Where else? I heard it. Right. Yeah, where does the 5 distribute over? Parentheses. Does it distribute outside of the parentheses? No. 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 So this will go here, and this will go here. The 4 is just going to come down, and we'll combine it. So negative 10x minus 15 plus 4. Is there like terms up there? Yes. Yes. What are my two like terms? 15 and 4. So what's negative 15 plus 4? Negative 11. Okay. That was cool. Can I move on? Yeah. You okay? Moving on. Okay. Five. Okay. Do me a favor. Put your pencil down, or your pen down, or your crayon down, or your lipstick down, or whatever you're using to write with. Make sure your neighbor has theirs down as well. Eyes up here. Eyes up here. I'm not going to send you home. I just want you to put it down. <laughs> because I don't want you to write through. Yet on this one. What am I going to distribute over the parentheses? Before you shut it up, think about it. What does it appear that I will distribute I over the parentheses? Yes, sir. Close. What? Negative. Negative 2, someone said 3. I can see where that 3 would come from. I, I, and I see the negative 2. Let me ask you all this. What is the math operation that's taking place from here to here? It's distribute. Well, what's the math operation? Multiplication. multiplication. Does multiplication take place before addition? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. So I have to distribute. This is the only part right here. We'll make it yellow because, you know, that's pretty to look at. You're like, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. Okay, so I am going to distribute over the parentheses the negative 2 first. So the 5 is coming down. 
to just hang out. And I'm going to take this, go here and here, so I'm going to get negative 2x minus 10. Hey, why is it negative 10? What did I distribute over to get to negative 10? Negative 2. Negative 2, so I went negative 2 times 5. Okay? You notice that five, the original first 5 is coming down. It's waiting its turn. Now we have some like terms that we can take care of. So we, these are my like terms right here. Okay? So negative 5, because 5 minus 10 is negative 5. Yes? And then negative 2x. Can I combine those together? They're both negative. No, one has an x and one doesn't. Okay? Uh, someone might be thinking, is this the same? Yes. You can flip-flop things. Okay? So, what do you do to the 10 and the 5? The 10 and the 5, I combine them together. 5 minus 10 is negative 5. Talk to me. Say, a little bit more than the yeah, order, order of the equation is okay to move around. Everyone feels comfortable with this so far? Yes. Yeah. So the big error is watch out for that negative. In that kind of scenario, lots and lots of errors take place. Errors take place on that where you forget to distribute. You think I just distribute the two to both things. You forget to bring the negative along. It happens over and over and over. I don't know. I, I wish I was a better teacher to know what exact phrase I could say that would never make you forget this. But I will tell you, this is an error that takes place very often. So the math department is getting math, math shirts made up, which is fine. Well, when they were asking us for suggestions, I said, let's have a big old math problem worked out on the back of it that has one sign error. So like math people would be like, oh, you could have done something. And everyone else wouldn't be, get it. But they voted me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So you guys want to know something that was gross that the eye doctor talked about this morning? No. Oh, for your medical. For my medical class. He said his second year as a uh, eye doctor. Is he an eye surgeon? No, no, he's just, just an optometrist. So an osteopathic doctor, same guy that you would see at home. So he had a woman that when he was doing the eye exam, she had her muscles in her eyes were not, they were weaker muscles. And so when he was examining the eye by pulling it down, her eye slipped out of its socket and started oh, getting, yeah, I thought, dude, how, how cool is that? I mean, that's a Halloween thing. You go to a party, that's a party favorite. You're going, oh, yeah, and people are like, no. He said, fortunately, it does slide back in easily, but it really did catch him off guard when, you know, he was. Like, if you blink too hard, your eyes just fall out. And he did verify, he did verify this morning that it is impossible to sneeze with your eyes open, but he did assure us, though, if you were able to, that your eyeballs do not pop out. You, well, when you sneeze, your eyeballs close. And he said, just a muscle reaction. So, so I thought that was kind of funny. All right, last one, last one. We ready? Yes, we are. All right. You know, it's just on someone's eye. I'll show you if you have a picture in a little bit. I'll freak you out. Oh, no. All right. Um, that cut an eyeball out. That is that a lot. You cut an eyeball out of me. Well, person that donated the body science so took her left eyeball out. Oh, I have a funny story about yeah. the eyeball. Did you go? No. Okay, oh. my brother's in med school, yeah. and his partner that was working with us then, she unzipped the bag and they were her grandmother. Oh, yeah, that's oh, real funny. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to call nuh -uh on that one, and this is why. This is why. Stay down, Tomical Board. Anytime, anytime you are in med school, they ask, and though you don't have the person's name, their toe tag is the same. So I would ask how that would have happened. How that would have happened. Just ask your brother how it would have happened. 
Which med school? It was GCU, and they're not like completely different med schools, but like they got the bodies donated mm -hmm. from like other med schools, mm -hmm. yep. so like they donated that mm -hmm. one by oh accident. My God. So, they so Grand Canyon University? Yeah. That's where I graduated from. I took the gross anatomy lab there. It's great. They gross anatomy. Yeah, it's not gross because it's gross. It's just called gross anatomy. All right. Hey, I last question. Woo! Last nice question. What am I going to distribute over the principles? Negative, Negative two. two. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm going to make that all yellow like that. And then do the Y. And I'm going to go here and here. Is that okay? Yes. What happens to the 10? Bring it Bring down. It comes down. Then what? Negative 12. 12. And then what? Positive 4x. Positive 4x. Good. And then that comes down. And then that comes down. Like terms. Uh, I think that might be a like term. That might be a like term. And that might be a like term. What do you think? If I can go oh, 10 minus 12, I get what? Negative 2. Negative 2. And negative 2 added to negative 4 is negative 6. Thank you. And then these are like terms, yes? yes. What do I get? Plus 6x. Could I have written it like this? Yes. Absolutely. Notice the sign switches along with it. Okay, so tomorrow we have a quiz. Tomorrow we have worksheet, worksheet 2B. Let's do it, front to back. All right, so worksheet... Number 2B, which is page 7 and 8, is your assignment for tomorrow. Wait, you, is this it? No. It says number 2B. Oh, that's our notes for 2B. And then in your worksheet, so it's page 7, 8. So 7, 8, that very bottom. Remember, we discovered that there are some selected answers at the end of this section in your book. Those of you who have not gotten your book yet, you need to get it. Okay? I don't think I made enough copies to keep going, so um, that might be a little awkward come when you can't do homework. Um, how's my pacing? Am I going okay for you guys? Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow, our quiz, our quiz, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to do the best I can to create it and put it on Schoology, and so we'll use the Chrome books for it. I think that's what I'm going to do. If you come tomorrow and we're doing a pencil to paper, then it's pencil to paper. But I think I'm going to try and do it on Chromebooks so it'll be done electronically. And I'll give it's like part of the 21st century, kind of, in a sort of weird way. Is that all right? Am I going too fast? Am I going too slow? Is anyone crying themselves to sleep incessantly because of my class? Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. Why didn't you go into medicine? Why did he not go into medicine? Yeah, like, like, I don't know. 